a KQED television production. It's like holy mother of comfort food. Throw it down, it's noodle crack. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter. Okay, I'm the bacon guy, right? <laughs> Oh, it just did one. a jig every time I dipped into it. It just <laughs> completely blew really? my mind. I felt like I had a mouthful of raw vegetables and dry dough. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert <laughs> first. <Yes>. It, uh, <laughs> told me you had to wait. <laughs> Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru online at Subaru.com. Located at the Southern Gateway to Napa, Jamison Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport. Offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, sound designer and mixer Jim Lebrecht sings the praises of his dining destination, scenes of smoke rising through the air is equivalent to music to his ears. Mm -hmm. And the flavors, well, they just sizzle. Attorney Tanya Falero lays down the law when it comes to service and selection. Right. Let the record show that she stands up for hidden gems, especially when they're located in the East Bay. And senior marketing manager Matt Lariva favors the flavors of Catalan cooking. Fragrant aromas billow from the wood burning stove in the open kitchen of his spot, and the eau naturale surroundings round out the experience. On Castro Street in Noe Valley in San Francisco, it's called Contigo. Contigo means with you in Spanish. It is this idea of sitting with your friends, enjoying a great meal, and that was the spirit of the restaurant. I am Ilan Emerson. I am the owner-manager of Contigo and part of the husband-wife team. I'm Brett Emerson. I love Spanish cuisine. Eating in Spain, it's like a moving party. You go from one tapas bar to the next with your friends. There they eat so many of the foods that I love to eat. There's a lot of pork, and I, and I love pork. <laughs> we love it so much, it's, it's on our t-shirt. <laughs> the cooking that we do here, it's rooted in rustic, simple flavors of Spanish cuisine, and then inspired by fresh local produce and whatever the fishmonger brings in. Our wine list is really exciting. It's an all Spanish wine list. There's this wonderful selection of sherries and cava Spanish sparkling wine. I love paella. I eat it twice a week with my daughter. Customers were begging us to make paella. Every Tuesday now we serve paella. I feel the night has been a success when there's family starting the night and children I've seen grow up here. And then by the end of the night, there's laughter, there's romance, there's parties in the patio. I just love it. All right, Matt, Contigo. Yes. <laughs> Talk uh, Contigo. Love Contigo. I mean, I've, I've lived in the city for a long time. There's a lot of great places to eat, and Contigo is one of those consistent restaurants that you can just go to and have a great time. And from the moment you walk in, it's warm, it's inviting, it's a very small space, and you are guaranteed to have a wonderful time every time you go. Because it's tapas, their, mm -hmm. their menu is extensive, so always start with the croquetas. The croquetas are delicious. It's hard to go wrong with fried balls, with gooey <laughs> cheese, small spices of like Spanish jamón. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. They also have a seasonal menu. This last time I went, they had a fresh crab salad, which was 
absolutely delicious. You had the fresh crab salad. I did. Obviously, it it was amazing. And I had the croquettes too. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And so fresh. Tasty. It's true. Yeah. You know, it was it was like radicchio and it had some chicory and a very generous portion of crab, lightly dressed with some like lemon juice. Really good fennel. Oh, in it was it. delicious. Very it was fresh. so fresh yes. and really, yeah. really nice. We had about three different um, appetizers and the, the croquette. I actually ordered another one. Oh, yeah. It's you, amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was my favorite thing on the whole menu. Oh, yeah. But we also had, you know, the uh, the things on the toast, like yeah. the sardines, and it was just, I don't eat this kind of food very often, and I just really, really loved that a lot. That's right. great. And, and you mentioned the, the sherry. I, I decided, all right, instead of having just a regular wine, I'll have sherry with, yeah. with my dinner. Right. And so the, the waitress recommended one thing, or she actually wound up bringing me out two different tastes, and I didn't really care for those, and she brought out something sweeter, and I loved it. So it was really great that they said, you know, no problem, try this, try this. Which and is we found something. Fantastic. Fino, don't you love that? Exactly. Fino and Manzanilla are the driest. Then you go up to a little bit of Amontillado and Oloroso, a little mm. sweeter. But just go in and ask for Palo Cortado. That oh, is the nice. rarest mm -hmm. sherry, Palo Cortado. And they tell them I sent you. They are so <laughs> proud of their wine menu. And every time I've gone, you know, it can be a little intimidating if you don't know it. But every single time, the servers will recommend what they've had, what they love. And they will give you as many tastes until you find something that's right. And I've never had a bad glass of wine at that place. It's wonderful. And what else did you have to eat? I have a tasting menu mm -hmm. because I figured it was the best way to get the best experience mm -hmm. at Contigo. So, and I told the waitress, I said, surprise me. So she just brought out dish after dish for us. And one of my favorites was a meatball and it had oh, juicy lamb and it was in this tomato sherry <laughs> sauce, I think. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It was just so tasty and just came out in this little dish, mm -hmm. warm and crisp. It was perfect. Yeah, yeah I had that also perfect. and it was really, really yummy. It's yes. got a little bit of cinnamon in it and the meatballs. That's the kicker right there. It, it is. was the it's cinnamon. That, gives that, that little hint of cinnamon that mm -hmm. is just such a warm spice and it's one of the best meatballs you'll ever eat. It's delicious. You're getting me hungry now. I know. <laughs> 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 I wish I had them. <laughs> There's one thing on the menu, and I, I forget what it is now, but it was like l the most expensive item on the menu was like $36 a plate. It's from Spain, and their jamón is just a cured meat, and it is... It's pelota. So, oh, it's it is. The, the best of the best. It's the best of the best, and it's buttery, it's salty, uh -huh. and they are so fatty and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, actually, dish for sherry. To, it is. To drink sherry oh, with. It's amazing. Okay, you know that we're going to have to talk desserts here. Churros. Okay. Yes. One and word. You, churros. And you yes. think about churros, these are so elevated and delicious. And you get these like crispy cinnamon sugar little fried donuts that you dip, but the real star is the rich chocolate that comes with it and it's like Look a salt Jimmy's over there. the oh, yeah. salt of chocolate that you dip into is just delicious i just picked up my cup and drank it after yeah, i took too. a sip because i said you know why not and it was just so rich it's just like we're actually we're supposed to drink this, this like, <laughs> yeah. and it was wonderful it's it's a great way that to end that meal Absolutely. it is yeah. what about service it's you know it's bustling in there at all times it, it really is you know i've they are very very attentive and the way that the restaurant is broken down is you can sit at the front at mm -hmm. the counter and looking into their open kitchen, they have um, tables on two different levels inside, or you can go to the back, which is a covered area. And no matter where you sit, you will have fantastic service. You feel the same way, Tony? You were shaking your yeah, head? Yeah, um, so I sat in the back area, which was an outdoor with lots of heat lamps, so it mm -hmm. wasn't cold, and it had beautiful lighting. Mm -hmm. It just felt great. Um, I just thought the tables were a little too close together because the whole time over dinner, we what? overheard. Excuse me? <laughs> we overheard the conversation <laughs> of the guy next door just going on and on and on and it just kind of killed the conversation at our table because all we heard was his voice. Noisy restaurants really bug mm -hmm. me <laughs> and and I was surprised that it didn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a wheelchair user you know you yeah. find little things that occasionally well what are big to me at right. certain restaurants right. like gee they store the extra chairs or the high chairs for the kids in the wheelchair accessible bathroom because it's so big you're and, right. then, oh, you're and totally then you can't right. you can't right. get in there yeah. or you have to have them move them <laughs> but this restaurant is a great example of what we call a universal design. Mm -hmm. There's a right. ramp. There's a big ramp. There's that, the bathroom. And the fact that it didn't feel like I was going through the kitchen or right. trying to squeeze past something to get right. to my seat. It makes it nicer when I go out. All right. Well, this is your restaurant, Matt, so give us a quick summary. Tucked away in Noe Valley, it is a great take on Spanish cuisine, always seasonal, consistent, and delicious. All right. And Jim? 
there are some great things in the menu that I would go back for. I don't know whether I'd run from the East Bay to come back to San Francisco, but if I was there, I'd go. All right. Fun, tasty, and if you have a little bit of time, try the tasting menu. Okay, if you would like to try Contigo, it's on Castro at 24th Street in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-285-0250. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $40. You can smell the smoke a block away from Jim's pick. That gives you time to prepare for the personal service and fun experience in store. The building may be tiny, but the flavors are big, and so are the smiles. On San Pablo in Berkeley at Smoke Berkeley. Car washes really speak to barbecue because when you smell the smoke and you're out there washing your car, you can't resist it. My name is Tina Ferguson Rife. I'm the chef owner of Smoke Berkeley. Having Cordon Bleu training as well as Culinary Academy training, that's my twist. You're not going to get arrested for eating fresh vegetables with your barbecue. Except for our acne buns and we think they do a good job, we make everything from scratch. I brought in my mom's recipe for her coleslaw as well as for her potato salad. And one of my pit masters, his mother makes an incredible baked bean. It's called Mrs. King's Baked Beans. Quite a few of my staff are from Rubicon programs. I really understand what it's like not to be able to find a job. And a lot of people that come from Rubicon are not given a chance because of their background. They are some of the most valuable employees that I've employed since being open two years ago. I want you to go to heaven and back without dying when you eat my barbecue. I want your head to roll and you go, oh, that's so good. Mmm, that's good barbecue. All right, Jim, before we start talking smoke Berkeley, let's just make it clear. There are a lot of places in Berkeley that have smoke <laughs> in the title. <laughs> right, Tanya? Oh, yeah, we have, we have, we have learned so that. We, <laughs> do not Google this place, because you will end up at Smoke House, which is a totally different restaurant. Oh smoke gosh. places in Berkeley, mm -hmm. um, but this is smoke Berkeley. So how did you discover this spot? It's sort of tucked away, isn't it? Well, it's attached to the solar car wash that's on, <laughs> on, on, on San Pablo at Dwight, but uh, the place is run by Tina Ferguson Rife, and, uh, and the thing that I love the most is they have a special that they usually have a few days a week, which is smoked lamb. And it's, uh, I get it served on this wonderful uh, brown and red rice and with a little Dijonais aioli. I, I, I love it. Uh, they have these uh, beef links. I like the texture and the taste. And they say these are not pre-cooked. They don't get them pre-cooked, so everything is completely smoked in their smokers. Mm -hmm. And this is Texas-style barbecue. This oh, yeah. is this, this is, is Texas barbecue. They, well, they've got the mild, the medium, and the hot. And in fact, they have to vet you That's for the, the hot. Sauces, they right. do the sauce. They do. <laughs> I was made to take a shot of the hot you sauce when I got there. <laughs> it was a I, shot. I love spicy food, and okay. Sean, who was working at yeah. the front, is hilarious. Like I had the best time at this restaurant. It was so much fun. And when I had ordered ordered the hot sauce. He said, are you sure you're prepared to handle it? Sure, yeah, I love spicy food. So he said, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he brought me a small little cup of the hot sauce. And you know, I took a sip and he said, no, you're gonna have to shoot it. Shoot, shoot it. it. Baby. <laughs> and so I took a shot of the hot sauce. It's gonna be very appetizing at first and it's gonna hit you in the back of the throat in about 10 seconds. And it was so <laughs> hot. <laughs> it was so mind. hot. Yeah, I had, it, and I had already ordered. So I had to tell him a couple of times, like, can I just get the mild? Like, I can't, I can't handle the hot. It was right up there are my kind of level of being able to handle hotness, yeah. and I do like hot foods, but I was able to tolerate it. There was not <laughs> enough milk, cheese, or water to oh, help my no mouth way. after that. It's really good. We got a hot guy in the front. I played and it safe you, with the medium. You, um, I had sliders. I tried a pork slider and a beef slider. It had just enough sauce where you get the kick, you get the real Texas flavor, but not too much to overdo the tenderness and juiciness mm. of the meats and the natural flavors of the meats, which was perfect on fresh acne bread. They were fantastic. I tried jalapeno mac and cheese. It had a nice kick of jalapeno to it. It was tasty. It was mm -hmm. warm. It was gooey. Big noodles. 
probably wasn't maybe the best mac and cheese I had, but it was a good side, and I would probably get it again. I had that I, crust, that cheese crust on the top. Which I is didn't what get you, it on mine. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Man, it, it was oh, okay. so good. It was so good. We had so much fun. I cannot reiterate how great the people are who work there, and yes. they were so excited that we were first timers. A we smoke had, Berkeley virgin. It was smoke mm -hmm. Berkeley virgin. Uh. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> like I found my, I found it. Um, I had the pulled pork and the brisket. We also had potato salad. The baked beans yes. were amazing. Right, the little bit of brisket ah. inside of it took me by surprise. Some of the best baked beans I've ever had yeah. in my life. They were like okay. smoky, they were sweet, they were a little spicy, they had generous portions of the salt. brisket. It was great. Mm -hmm. Cheesy Together. rice, did you the try cheesy the cheesy rice? rice? Oh. It was just a mixture of warm, soft rice. Not too much cheese, but just enough cheese to give it that smooth, creamy flavor. The brisket was delicious, absolutely delicious. It was a little tough, just a little. So Sean came out to check on us, and we didn't say a word and he saw my brisket and he said I am so sorry that is not my mama's brisket I don't feel good that you're eating this we just got a new vendor kind of went to a backstory went and came out with the tea smoked salmon that hands down is the best thing that I ate and it, it was so flaky and so moist it was smoked perfectly and it came with this ginger cilantro sauce that needs to be bottled and sold and put on everything. We took some of that home one time. I had it on scrambled eggs. Oh, oh my was, God, you both. I, I've, I've done the, this. The excitement is palatable here at the table. Yeah. I feel like I'm in barbecue church. Okay, so let's get to dessert now. Now you this get to dessert. This chocolate pecan pie was just in, insanely good. It was just like a rich chocolate fudge inside of a mm. sweet crust. Rich, milky chocolate melts in your mouth. I was just in heaven. I want to go back and buy a full pie. Jim, what are you what? doing? I well, I just happen to have some of their fresh baked cookies with me, <laughs> and which is actually something I've tried a bunch of their desserts and love them, but I haven't had these. Awesome! Oh, this so is their cookies. These are their they cookies. do make cookies. Get out! Yeah. Oh my God! So okay. You can imagine what, what it's like when one? they're warm. This chocolate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're, they're mm. too long, too long, too long. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank heaven. you. Mm. Mm. And it's really affordable. I oh, mean, yeah. It's unreal how much food you get for what you pay. I mean, it was super affordable and super generous as far as the portions. I think they're ready to kiss you, Jim, as a thank you oh. for finding this place. I'm <laughs> going to make out with you in five minutes. <laughs> I better call my wife. <laughs> but not before you describe the sweet potato pie to me, because I love sweet potato pie. It's uncomplicated. The crust is that magic crust that's just soft and tender, and the sweet potato is so creamy. It's just basic and so satisfying. Well, this is your spot, so give us a quick summary. I think you can find wonderful food there, um, unusual uh, items you don't find at any other barbecue place, and the food tastes great. And Tanya? Perfect taste of Texas style barbecue right in the Bay Area. All right, and Matt. Such a wonderful little gem in the middle of Berkeley. So happy I found it. All right, if you would like to try Smoke Berkeley, it's on San Pablo at Channing in Berkeley. The telephone number is 510-548-8801. It's open for lunch and dinner, Tuesday through Saturday. And the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $20. We know that opposites attract, and Spain is a country rich with vinous opposites. Here we have one of the zestiest whites around, and here, one of the hardiest reds. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a battle of the bottles. Woo! On the welterweight side, from Galicia on Spain's west coast, is Albarino. From the stunningly green and lush coastal area named Ria Spicious, this crisp, succulent white is a perfect pairing with local seafood and fresh cheeses. And on the other side of the ring is heavyweight Priorat, hailing from the northeast coast of Spain. Priorat is an ancient place with vineyards planted on rugged mountainsides outside Barcelona. Along with Rioja, it's Spain's highest quality designated region. The key grapes are Garnacha and Carnena, along with Syrah and Cabernet Sauvignon. Priorat is big, it's bold, and it takes on grilled meats with ease. Gotta be honest, folks, both are winners here. Yeah! Ooh. Bordering a residential area, Tanya's pick has a large open dining room with exposed beams and bright skylights. Serving up an eclectic menu, you'll find it on Bancroft Avenue in San Leandro. It's called Paradiso. Our philosophy at Paradiso is to give customers good, wholesome food that's interesting and something they can come back to time and time again. 
comfort food at its best. My name is Mike Weisner. I am the owner of Paradiso Restaurant in San Leandro. I opened Paradiso 18 years ago and we started as a small neighborhood restaurant and we've expanded twice into what we are now. We have an eclectic menu. We have a wood-fired oven, wood-burning grill. We do everything from wood-fired pizzas to steaks. Everything is all natural meats and organic produce. I'm Vicki Lutz. I've been managing Paradiso for about 11 years now. Paradiso has a real modern flair, but yet it has the fine dining experience as well. You can be sitting in the wine bar, in the banquet room. Some people like to be sitting at the windows, and many like the counter. Customers will come in and they table hop. They know everyone, so it's like a community. It's like running into Norm at Paradiso. People uh, come in for the food, they come back for the extremely good looking owner. <laughs> now what makes Paradiso so special that you keep going back time and time again? Well, for starters, I have a favorite waiter there. His name is Nasser. He always takes care of me, makes sure I have everything I need, and and is humorous through the, through the whole dinner. Um, but you can't go wrong with the food. I think they are such a great mix between Californian cuisine and Italian food. They always have a new specials menu, and I go back and I have multiple desserts. For the past however many years I've been going back, I've never left disappointed. Mm. And I've met the owner before who sent over a special dessert for for me and I see the dessert thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I think you guys could I tell like I have a sweet tooth. Yeah. Um, what did you have when you went, Matt? Yeah. We ate so much. First of all, the menu <laughs> is gigantic. The, yes. the regular menu is gigantic, but then the specials menu is almost just as big. It's, it's mm. hard to navigate it, but it is like holy mother of comfort food. It is <laughs> so delicious. We had we started off and had, um, it was the cutest dish I've ever seen. They were like mini lamb mini chops. Mini chops. The mini lamb chops yes. with like a little mini caprese salad underneath it. Yes. And it's crusted with like cumin and black peppercorn and it's so mm -hmm. moist. They were so good. That, I mean, that just started, kicked off the menu. Right. We also had the short ribs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> short ribs were life changing. I'm not even lying. It's just in this really decadent, rich, savory sauce that you mix with this really super creamy polenta, some oh, yeah. fresh steamed vegetables. It Jim's was delicious. The polenta is to die for. There was not going to be any polenta left by the time we no. left that restaurant. Did you try the polenta appetizer? I had it. No. It's, it's fresh, warm polenta with grilled vegetables. It's, they're seasonal. They're fantastic. You'll have to go back and try that for <laughs> and sure. And what else did you have, Jim? Mediterranean plate, kale Caesar. Oh, how do you choose? I mean, first off, the Mediterranean plate, you got this nice clump of uh, the hummus there with the incredibly soft pita on the outside, the feta, the peppers, and the olives. It was wonderful. Also, their uh, Caesar, this kale Caesar. Mm -hmm. Now, they call it a Caesar, but it's really more kind of like a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. I could have had those two it's just true. alone for a wonderful meal. And been happy. Exactly. But she didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> I, I had uh, their special ravioli, which was a, a seafood ravioli mm -hmm. with like crab and shrimp and one other thing in it. It was just perfect in some kind of a vodka cream sauce. The, the combination of all the tastes inside the ravioli, everything was Well, the it's best. a very diverse menu. It, it's like going to an amusement park for food, okay? It it's is. like, it's really huge menu. You want to come back. We might m not make it to the Foods of Mystery today, but we're, <laughs> but we're gonna come back later. The food you want to eat and the calamari also, which I totally forgot so about. So good. It is the uh -huh. best fried calamari I have ever Ever is had. this a regular dish for you, the calamari? I, I get it every so often. What about the swordfish? The swordfish was just grilled to perfection. It was just juicy and tender mm. without being too dry. It had fresh crab on top, and it came with a side of quinoa with just mixed vegetables in it. It was the perfect mix. It wasn't too heavy, which is perfect because I always have to save room for what's coming after. For dessert, but I have to say, the wine list is fairly extensive, extensive and yes. so well priced. Yes. Oh, yeah. And there yeah. are these hidden gems that I would tell you all about, but then I couldn't go there and drink them. So <laughs> it's quite a list to navigate through. I was surprised at how many wines you could get by the glass, mm -hmm. and that I thought they were reasonably priced. Yeah. Also. yeah. And I had a Coderone that was just great. Now we're going to get to desserts. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, this is my time. All right. Um, my favorite thing is their molten chocolate cake. It comes out on a beautiful dish. You put your fork into it, and the chocolate just starts pouring out like molten, mm -hmm. heavenly lava. 
and they give you a nice side of vanilla gelato and they they you know they have strawberries on the side with some mint and it's just the combination of flavors is just amazing you can't go wrong with it I also like getting the affogato mm -hmm. with you know they give you a scoop of fresh hazelnut gelato and they just pour the mm -hmm. espresso on it and it just melts in right in front of you it's it's fantastic we were so full <laughs> first of all <laughs> we had to get we knew that everything that we had ordered was so good that dessert was gonna be amazing and I mean, and we went big. I mean, we had like a cocktail, we had their um, old fashioned, then we, I had a couple glasses of Malbec, and then we had a 20 year like tawny port for dessert. Nice. I mean, we were like, let's go do big this. Or go home, yeah, let's babe. do this. Yes. Big or go home. And we had the apple crisp, and it was spectacular. That crumble on top was just nothing mm -hmm. but butter and cinnamon and a little bit of sugar. And, and so good. So good. So and good. the apples were so fresh, and it came with the vanilla gelato. Mm -hmm. It just kind of melted, and it was this pool that you, it was yes. outstanding. Jim, it's, it's, you're killing you need me. A fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the napkins are. <laughs> I'm absolutely going back to this place. I'm ready to go back right absolutely. now. Absolutely. It was paradise. Let's go right now. <laughs> Let's right, go right Tanya, now. That's, that's, that's my it summary. It is, it is paradise in the Bay Area. Go. You won't be disappointed no matter what you get. All right. And Jim? You know, I never thought about San Leandro as being a food destination. This restaurant is a place you want to go to over and over again. All right, and Matt. I'm going to hug you after this because <laughs> this restaurant was absolutely phenomenal. If you would like to try Paradiso, it's on Bancroft Avenue at Oaks in San Leandro. The telephone number is 510-430-9310. It's open for lunch and dinner every day with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $45. I want to thank my great guests on this week's show, Matt LaRiva and the Spanish flavors at Contigo in San Francisco, Jim Lebrecht in his blazing barbecue heaven at Smoke Berkeley, and finally, Tanya Falero, whose destination Paradiso in San Leandro is truly a food lover's paradise. We'd love your feedback about today's show. Let us know if you've visited any of the restaurants that we've been talking about today. Visit our website at kqed.org slash check, please. You'll find a lot more information on every restaurant featured. You can watch a segment or download a whole show. Or you can follow us via Facebook and Twitter, where you'll find exclusive behind-the-scenes clips, pics, and notes from me, including information on the wines we're drinking today. They're delicious. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check, Please! Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 This show is available on demand and online. To watch an episode, find restaurant information, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check, please. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQED and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Just 45 minutes from the Bay Bridge, Jameson Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamesonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport, offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International, park close, fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. KQED Television Production.